We want to solve the system of linear equations using substitution. Now remember, there are other methods for solving linear equations. You can either use elimination, graphing, or substitution. In this case, we are going to use substitution. Now, we are given negative 4x plus y equals 6 and negative 5x minus y equals 21. When using substitution, we have to solve for one of the variables. Let's look at the first equation. In this equation, it might be easier to solve for y. So, let's do that. So we have negative 4x plus y equals 6. Let's solve for y. To do this, let's add 4x to both sides. y will then equal 6 plus 4x. Now that we have one equation solved for y, let's substitute it in for y in the other equation. So we will have negative 5x minus y. Well, we solve for y, so let's plug in what we found y equaled. 6 plus 4x, and that will equal 21. Here we have our first equation substituted in to our second equation. Using this equation, let's solve for our variable x. To do this, let's keep the negative 5x. Let's distribute the negative sign to both pieces, leaving us with negative 6 minus a 4x equals our 21. Now, let's get the x's over to the left side and all non-x's over to the right side. We want to solve for our variable x. So to do this, let's add 6 to both sides, leaving us with a negative 5x minus 4x equals 21 plus 6, which would be 27. The last step, let's combine our x's. When we combine our x's, a negative 5x minus 4x will give us a negative 9x equals our 27. The last step to isolate our variable x would be to divide both sides by negative 9. Remember to divide both sides by negative 9. Our negative 9's divide to 1, and we are left with x equals 27 divided by a negative 9 will give us a negative 3. Now that we solved x equals negative 3, let's go back and look at our original problems. When looking at our original equations, remember we solved the first equation for y. This does not change the equation. They both are still the same equation. We plugged our first equation then into our second equation. When we did that, we found x to be negative 3. Now we want to take that negative 3 and plug it back into our original equation. I'm going to plug it back into the y equals 4x plus 6. You could plug it into the negative 4x plus y equals 6. So we will get y equals our 4 times we found x to be negative 3 plus 6. So y will be 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12 plus 6. So y will equal negative 12 plus 6 or negative 6. So we found y to be negative 6 and x to be negative 3. Another way we can write this is x comma y in our parentheses. So we could write this as negative 3, negative 6. This is our point of intersection for our two original lines. So when solving for systems of linear equations using substitution, we are looking for the point that these two lines will intersect.